If you are a YouTuber, then you must have noticed that YouTube has launched a new creative feature called YouTube Shorts. All of you are wondering how the watch time will be considered from now on, how will the monetization work, what songs to use and how will the copyright claim work. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how the new YouTube Shorts really works and everything we know about it till now. Watch the whole video without skipping and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Now the YouTube Shorts hasn't been officially released as a content creation tool anywhere except India. It includes a multi-segment camera, music recording, speed controls, a timer, well, pretty much what TikTok is all about. Talking about the YouTube Shorts camera, which is a content creation tool, is currently not available to everyone globally. But what is available right now to everyone is the ability to see these YouTube Shorts. Any user with the YouTube app can now watch these short videos by tapping on to this option given at the top left corner. This is where you'll find short videos that are vertical in format and are 60 seconds or less. All you need to do is swipe up and you'll see another YouTube short or a story. Now if you stumble across a video that you really enjoy, you can tap on their channel and it'll show you all the YouTube shots they have in their channel. If you want to see all the channel's content, you will need to go on top of the channel's icon again on this screen. Alright guys, this is a pretty important point I'm gonna be telling you here. Even though not everyone has access to YouTube Shorts camera recording tool, every YouTube creator can still create YouTube Shorts. There is no minimum requirements for subscribers or views. So even if you've started a YouTube channel today, you can still start creating YouTube Shorts. All you need to do is follow a few guidelines. For your video to be eligible as a YouTube short, it must be recorded in a vertical format and it also must be 60 seconds or less. YouTube also has been recommending to use hashtag shorts in the video title or description as well. Although when you have the creator camera tool, it'll look something like this. Just go ahead to the create a short button here. And there you can see there are options to record, add music, speed control, a timer and even the gallery option where you can upload a pre-recorded video of your own. Now let's talk about monetization. If your audience is watching your videos in the swipe up section like how we saw before, you won't be shown any ads there. That means there won't be any monetization happening through ads. But then if a visitor lands on your channel and watches your videos in the usual way, and if he is shown ads over there, then your channel will get monetized and you'll eventually get paid through that. Now with this, let's move on to copyright claim which I'm pretty sure all of you all must be wondering about. So just like how TikTok and Instagram Reels work, if you use the camera creator tool in YouTube Shorts, you get the option there to add a music of your own. If you use that music, you don't get any copyright claim. But then, let's say you create a video where you have already added a music of your own. There you are most likely to get a copyright claim. Now just for an instance, if you find a song that is listed there in the camera tool but you still pick the same song and add it in your video by yourself, you still might get a copyright claim on that video. This is only because this is how the algorithm of YouTube Shorts are designed now. So while making a short video, just make sure you either use the music from the same camera creator too, and if else you decided not to do that, then just pick a non-copyright music. Although it's quite clear that unlike a copyright strike, a copyright claim does not affect the channel. Lastly, if you're thinking about the watch time and subscribers too, let me tell you what's going on with that as well. So for example, if through YouTube Shorts you gain 1000 subscribers, 
those subscribers will be considered for your channel. But the watch time that you gain through those videos, those won't be counted. So if your video is being viewed in shorts and stories section and is seen by a viewer by swiping up, those views won't be counted. But then if the viewer lands on your channel and watches your short videos there, those views might be considered. But I'm really not sure how the algorithm of YouTube is working in that case. This was pretty much all about the new YouTube shorts. But if you still have any questions, feel free to write it down in the comment section below. Hope this video was informative, do give it a like, if you're here in this channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.